Smells like teen spirit. This is a, a good example of <coughs> that kind of fire. Does that sort of lead you back to the first time that you sort of started playing like that? The first time you sort of started playing with that attitude? Mm, the first time I started playing... At what age do you think where it sort of came with the attitude? Well, I think I've always had the attitude, and I think the attitude that I had played into why I didn't get signed. Even when I was playing regular jazz, I had this attitude of fire, and you know, it's not about these business guys, it's about us artists, and you know, trying to, let's really do something. It's been too long since there's been a Coltrane, it's been too long since there's been a Duke Ellington, it's been too long since there's been a Miles Davis, what are we waiting for as a community of musicians? So I was about that fire, which stirred up anger amongst guys who either want to pretend that they are or label guys who are, you know, taking their cues from the other, I mean, whatever it gets into all this kind of who shot John Skullduggery, what intrigue, whatever. Meanwhile, there's still no new John Coltrane out there. There's still no new Miles Davis. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I always had that kind of an attitude. It's just that that kind of fire and that kind of rebellion is more rock oriented than it is jazz per se the spirit of rock is you know coming from the like Appalachia and you know these kind of songs that are anthemic and you know revolutionary war related and you know, going that far back that's what rock is coming from and so you know from Vietnam and you know just stop children what's that sound you know all these kind of things rock has that very much in it so I came up in jazz but I had a, a, a rock in my spirit so then finally the music that I'm playing matches the music that I'm playing is designed to capacitate that kind of fire it smells like teen spirit <laughs>